at five dollars per player per day we're earning twenty five thousand dollars a day across our five thousand players so twenty five thousand dollars a day over a month is seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars over a year is nine million dollars we're able to provide the mastercard to players across the world we've successfully raised eight million dollars 8.1 million to be exact Hello everyone, this is Alex from Gaines. Today I'm with Darren, who is CEO of Earn Yield. How are you doing, Darren? Hi Alex, very good. Thank you for uh, taking the time to speak with me today. Yeah, let's dive right in. What's Earn Guild? Earn Guild's a player guild for uh, play to earn games. Our main objective is to support players to become involved in play to earn games and uh, learn how to play them and learn how to manage the crypto elements too of, of play to earn games. Okay, cool. So there's obviously lots of the guilds, which shows there's a market, but how are you different or better than them? There are a lot of guilds, but actually not that many given how big the market is. And the guilds that have formed are really only formed in the last 12 months. So it's still very early days. However, our main point of difference, the thing that we do completely unique is that we've got some fiat gateways and a MasterCard that enables our play to win players to be able to uh, sell their game tokens and convert them to fiat a lot more easily and to load them onto the MasterCard. How many scholars do you have right now? Uh, we've got 1,500 scholars right now. Okay. And where do they come from? We formed a Discord community when we launched in October. We reached out to play to win sort of chat groups largely on um, on Reddit and, and Discord and built our community uh, on Discord from there. So we now have about 27,000 members in our Discord server. 1,500 of them are daily active players. Do they play multiple games? How does it work? Do they play Axie, something else? Right now, all of our scholars play Axie because we're still in very early stages of setting up the guild and getting people onboarded for a game. We are at the back end of our token sale and you know, completing our raising. So we're able to, to now broaden our horizons and, and diversify into other games. So we're about to start bringing in players into other games. Cool. For people watching who might be interested to become scholars, how much can they expect to earn per day, let's say? The average scholar on Axie Infinity can earn about $10 US a day. Our arrangement is that we share 50% of the player winnings. So that would be $5 for them and $5 for us per day. But um, different games have their own different economies and Axie's economy changes a little bit from time to time based on the value of, um, of their token on the market. There's a little bit of crypto volatility that, that can affect their player winnings as well. Got you. Have you made maybe projections with X number of players, that volume, how is it going to impact the price? Are the incentives well defined so that the more players, the more volume, the higher the token price? We've made some assumptions all along that have been quite conservative. For example, uh, the value of the, um, the Axie token has, has reduced our assumptions are still in the money. So let me let me run you through the assumptions. We assume that players can earn $10 a day from a range of different play to earn games. And we've validated that assumption by, by reviewing the market and checking out all of the different play to earn games that are coming onto the market. And that for about a $1,000 investment in NFTs to play a game, you can earn about $10 a day. If a player is in a guild and the guild has funded their the game NFTs that they need to buy to play the game, then they'll be sharing half of what they earn with us. So they'll be earning $5 a day on average across various play to earn games. We'll be earning $5 a day on average per player per day. That's a base assumption that we use in our models. When you extrapolate that to our revenue model, We've raised um, $8 million over the last few months. That enables us to, to fund at least 5,000 players at at least $1,000 per game NFT, because that's 5,000 players at $1,000 each is $5 million with additional funds aside for our technology roadmap and marketing. So at $5 
per player per day, we're earning $25,000 a day across our 5,000 players. So $25,000 a day over a month is $750,000. Over a year is $9 million. The assumption across our model is that we're, our, our revenue is $9 million for a group of 5,000 players that we've invested $1,000 worth of NFTs into. Got you. Cool. Okay, tell us about how you're going to get more scholars. Is there some competition between guilds to, to kind of attract more, more players? How big is the, the player base potentially? Almost without trying, we're getting at least 100 applications a day. We're not struggling, and, and I don't think any guilds are struggling to find scholars, particularly for Axie scholars, because there are a lot of people that are, that are wanting to play. Is a very big market. We've got one and a half thousand Axie scholars, and that's about where we're comfortable. We're not really trying to get a lot more Axie scholars in our guild at the moment, based on the funding that we've got. You know, we're comfortable having about a third of our active players playing Axie, but the other two thirds we want to be playing other play to earn games. We've been doing a lot of work over the last month or so, forming uh, partnerships with with new games and um, and buying NFTs from those games and getting ourselves ready to be able to onboard more players in other games so that uh, we diversify our revenue and we make it more fun for our, our guild members to be members of Earn Guild because there are a lot of different games that they can play. You've raised $8 million, so that's pretty impressive, first of all. Who are the, the investors? Uh, of course, we're very proud with gainers to have invested. Uh, and we're supporting you wholeheartedly. But who are the other investors? Firstly, thanks for Gaines Associates for being a, an early investor in Earn Guild. Um, some of the other investors, we, we've targeted mainly community uh, VCs, and um, and some of those other investors are the likes of uh, Master Ventures, uh, OIG, Alexander Kondrashov, who's got a, a huge Twitter following, primarily um, out of Russia, some 4 million uh, Twitter followers. Startup Studio with Evan Luthra, Avalon Wealth Club, The Moon Carl, Solar Dow, Crypto Ventures, CSP Dow, Dutch Crypto Investors, uh, Safe Launch, Crypto VN out of, uh, out of Vietnam, so Whitelist Ventures, Black Dragon, uh, WLI, SMO Capital. So we've got a great list of investors, um, all who are experienced uh, in uh, investing in gaming and play to earn. Right, so what are the games besides Axie that you're going to, to push your scholars to play? The three main games that we've partnered up with uh, recently and we've, we're buying NFTs from them in order to get our players ready to play them are uh, Asidus, uh, Soul Chicks and Splinterlands. Asidus has, uh, has been extremely They've got a, a great, uh, great gameplay that they've been developing. They're, they're backed by Blockpad and, and Blocktopia, who are very successful. Soul Chicks have, uh, have also got uh, some some really good fun games to to play, and, and Splinterlands has been an incredibly successful um, play to earn game as well with a uh, huge following. So we've struck deals with each of them to be able to buy NFTs for our players directly as they launch their um the versions and bring themselves to to the playing community will be one of the guilds that will will support their launch and bring players to them tell us a bit about yourself and your team who are you what's your background why are you qualified to put earn guild on the moon you know build something very big our teams across a number of continents um america i'm from australia some uh, we've got some people out of uh, India that are doing our tech work with us and, and the UK. We've all got some five plus years worth of blockchain crypto experience. We've been involved in a number of projects, so we know what to do to make a, um, a blockchain crypto play to earn project succeed. But um, but we're all experienced business people as well, so we understand how to how to build a business, how to market, and how to maintain accountability and you know financial controls to run it in a disciplined way but because this is gaming we've we've also very deliberately got a group of um of young sort of 20 year oldish 20 to 25 year old community leaders 
that are the ones that we really rely on to be engaging with our players. They're the front face of the guild uh, on Discord, talking to our scholars, testing out the games that we're considering partnering with. Our 20 somethings that are uh, much better gamers than, than I am are the ones that uh, are really helping our player community to connect with play to earn games. All right, cool. What's the roadmap besides, I guess, growing? Our main priority is really uh, in, in terms of our roadmap to build our NFT marketplace that we can buy and sell for, well, so that player, you know, players in our, our guild can buy and sell the NFTs for various play to earn games. Another priority is to integrate the uh, Earn Guild MasterCard into the game economy so that we're able to successfully you know, take game tokens and player winnings and be able to load them onto the, the MasterCard. So we've, we've past, partnered with a, um, a UK-based bank. We're able to provide the MasterCard to players across the world, wherever they are, and integrating that and, and providing fiat gateways is, is a, a big part of our technology roadmap as well. Anything else you'd like to mention that maybe we didn't talk about yet? We've successfully raised $8 million, $8.1 million to be exact. We've raised $1 million from, uh, from seed investors, uh, $5.5 million from community VCs, and $1.6 million from uh, a launch pad uh, in our public round. And, and the uh, response has been fantastic. We've been oversubscribed at each round, which is great. We're really looking forward to our listing, which is on the 22nd of February. We'll be listing initially on Pancake Swap because we're a BDP20 token. We've got agreements with a number of uh, centralized exchanges as well. We're trying to get a few more so that we'll be able to launch uh, with a number of centralized exchanges on the 22nd of February as well, or, or very soon after. Okay. Awesome. I'll put all the links in the description so that people who are curious and want to learn more can join Twitter, Telegram, or whatever Discord, I guess, for games. Thanks, Darren. Best of luck for the launch on the 22nd. We'll be there to see how it unfolds and support you, of course. And uh, on that note, guys, drop a like if you like play to earn or play and earn. Feel free to ask any question in the comments and subscribe for more awesome interviews. Thank you, Darren. See you. Thank you.